Welcome to this quick lesson on serving. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to be talking about a short underspin serve. This is a very powerful kind of serve. It's not dramatic, but it's certainly very useful in the game because it will give you some measure of control. It'll prevent the opponent from just outright attacking the ball, uh, and it'll also potentially give you an advantage if their return is very weak. So, to do this particular serve, I'm going to say that there are a couple of important points that you'll want to know, a couple of skills that you'll want to master. The first one is, before you ever go to the table, I would recommend if you can't do the following, you're going to want to practice this. When you do an underspin serve, you come underneath the ball, grazing the ball, and you'll find that uh, the top players throw the ball up very high because when the ball comes down, they want to press into the rubber, and you'll find that they do indeed come directly underneath. But that takes a lot of skill. Now, that's actually quite difficult. So um, the variation of that is instead of coming just directly under the ball, you can actually come a little up and under the ball, and that particular motion does not require, because you're going to generate a little more friction like this, uh, uh, as high of a toss. So the skill to know is to do the following. Drop the ball and hit, in my case, the left side of the ball. That is the under spin stroke. So you hit the left side and then the right side. You'll see people doing this skill all the time. But that hitting of the, the back of the ball, if you will, is what is key. Oop. <laughs> Sorry. It is the key skill that you'll need to know in order to do an underspin. Just a little bit of an up and under stroke rather than perfectly horizontal. You'll see me do that when I serve at the table. There is another important skill, and I don't think that this one is often stated when doing serves, especially of this kind, when you want to do a short underspin serve. What I recommend that people do is they put the maximum amount of spin they possibly can when they first begin learning the serve. It won't be short. It'll go very long, and that's fine. Then you can rein it in, making it shorter and shorter. One of the important skills to know about many serves, especially serves that are short and spinny, is the ability to generate the amount of spin that you want, say in an underspin ball like I'm going to demonstrate, and keep it as short as possible. To do that, I have found that one of the best techniques is to concentrate on generating all the spin with your arm and your hand and your wrist, but use your body only to get the ball to go over the net. You can decouple those two things, and it makes it easier to control. So all you're worried about, in this case, if we're doing underspin, we're just worried about just spinning the ball. We don't even worry about it going forward. Just concentrate on making whatever spin it is, side spin, under spin, top spin, and then use your body, the forward motion of your body, doesn't require very much at all, to get the ball to go over the net. That, I have found, is a fantastic skill because the large muscle motion of this slightly forward transfer of weight, shift of your body, is all that's necessary to give the forward momentum while you are concentrating on getting the right spin with the paddle and the ball. Let's see that in practice here with this short underspin serve. Now, I am not a master at the go serve or anything like that, but uh, I do want to have some kind of serve like this in my toolkit because it sure is a nice one to have. So first, this particular serve, I enjoy doing it in a very particular way, which is I like to serve this ball mostly down the line, down the opponent's forehand line, because typically they will be standing in the backhand corner, and I want the ball to be as far away from them as possible. So a short ball that's here or as close to the line as possible here uh, will generally be to my advantage, unless they are a high-level player that can flick the ball, uh, generally you're going to get a push back. And if that push goes a little long, then I have a third ball attack, which is wonderful. And where are they going to push it from this position? It's actually hard to push it down the line very well, mostly to the middle of the table or to the forehand side, which is exactly where I want it. 
So I'd like to go short down the line here. You'll actually see Ma Long practice this down the line all the time. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson on a short underspin serve, and you can practice that to your advantage when you're in a game situation where you want to stop the other opponent from attacking, or uh, even improve your ability to do a nice third ball uh, response. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again next time.